What's up guys, it's Eva10 here. So there was obviously an interview pretty recently with CCP Rattati as well as Oz Eve. They covered a whole bunch of different topics, but I think this time around, I really wanna focus on some of the possible Orca and Roar Call changes that could be happening here in Q2. Um, he didn't confirm it, but it sounds like these changes will be happening uh, very, very soon. I mean, heck, I think everyone knew these changes were gonna happen at some point. I mean, even I have a video that's almost exactly five months old talking about some Orca changes or nerfs that could possibly happen. Uh, it is one of my older videos, so the audio isn't great, and I kept it very, very general. But, I mean, it is one of my more popular videos, so that's why I kind of want to circle back to it and be a little bit more specific with some of the possible statistical changes they could do to the ships, as well as some of the, um, I guess, pie-in-the-sky kind of mechanics they might introduce, because Rattati did mention they do kind of have an ace up their sleeve when it comes to possibly introducing a mechanic. Or a, or a really unique role that some of these uh, industrial command ships could actually introduce into the game. I'm not sure if that involves hauling, mining, who knows, but I did kind of put some ideas together that I think would be really cool to kind of shake up how people are mining right now uh, going forward. And if you guys do like this kind of content, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, all the typical YouTube stuff, especially since in this video, we're gonna be giving away two more of the Scope Syndicate Rupture skins. So we're gonna be giving away one uh, at the end of the first day of this upload, and then the second one at the end of the second day uh, of this upload as well. And I'll be putting you your names down in the description as well as the comments so you guys know who the winners are. So we actually had seven winners in the last video. This one we're gonna be two because I really wanna get some interaction going on in the comments below. So I'm gonna need two things from you guys. First one is your in-game name. And the second one is, uh, what are you guys' ideas of what are some of the Orca and possible roll call changes that CCP could introduce here in the near future? Or you guys can play off some of the ideas that I had, some of the uh, pie in the sky, uh, ideas or possible mechanics that I think would be really interesting to kind of shake up things on how mining is performed. So put that down below and you guys will be entered into the giveaway. All right, so let's jump into it. And just a reminder, these are just strictly pine the sky mechanics and ideas that I just came up with that I think would be really cool to introduce uh, into mining, just make things a bit more interesting. And I think they kind of fall in line with the two things that CCP wants, which is basically having orcas and war calls be more of a fleet like boosting and kind of a support role when it comes to uh, mining fleets. And the second thing is obviously just getting barges and exhumers back in the belts, getting some vulnerable ships uh, that can die to ganks back in the belts. So obviously miners are gonna be risking a bit more in that sense, but some of the ideas I had are actually gonna allow for some rewards based on some of the fleet compositions and stuff that you provide. So anyway, we'll go ahead and jump into it. I think the first one is, I think it'd be really cool if the Orca had some sort of way to change between two modes similar to a tactical destroyer but not as quickly obviously it's not going to take like five to ten seconds this is something that could take like one to two minutes um, i know this is kind of similar to the war call with like their industrial core but it would be cool if the orca had two different modes like a boost mode and a bulwark mode the boost mode increases uh mining command burst bonuses but it prevents them from actually using mining drones altogether. so you have a big fleet this is obviously preferred um, as well as if you're in this boost mode you can actually designate up to five ships maybe it's one level per industrial command uh, ship bonus they have and those ships actually get increased mining yield so obviously you put these on your coveters your hulks whatever it is so they're obviously going to get they're going to benefit more from the boost that you're actually shooting out there but of course with this you're obviously going to be very vulnerable you can't move um changing between modes you're just going to be sitting there for a full minute or two the bulwark mode in my mind gives increases to shield command bursts um it's also going to not allow you to move, but it's going to increase your resist. It's going to increase remote rep cycle speed. So this is going to be a really good way to kind of help bolster your fleet's defenses until either your response fleet shows up or if this is something like high sec, uh, boosting the defenses uh, of your fleet until Concord shows up and you're able to survive and uh, weather out the gank until Concord kind of cleans everything up. The second idea I think that would be cool for them to introduce, and it's a bit far out there, uh, to be honest, which would be some sort of like mining adaptation bonus based on your fleet composition. So basically, this is just to kind of give a reason why to bring um, all three different types of barges or all three different types of exhumers to, to the mining fleet. Because what I would assume is a lot of the people in the corners of high sec, low, or like null, if you're in the corner, I mean, you're just going to bring coveters and hulks all day, especially if you're actually being active with your mining. Um, why bother bringing a Mackinac or bringing a, uh, a skiff or anything like that to the mining fleet? So you actually get specific bonuses based on what the majority of your fleet is. So different bonus if your fleet is majority uh, coveters and hulks, different kind of bonus if your fleet is majority uh, retrievers and Mackinaws. And I think obviously giving slightly better bonuses to like the retriever and Mackinaws, skiffs and procures versus like the coveters to kind of help balance things out, maybe mix and matching 
uh, some of your team compositions. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you guys ever played like Marvel Ultimate Alliance, like that fighting game. And based on the team composition you have, you actually get bonuses. So if you pick one team, maybe you have increased health, more mana, more damage, whatever it is. I think something like that with mining would be kind of cool, although it's pretty far-fetched, I'll be honest. The third idea I had was um, essentially just adding more um, active gameplay for the mining director, which is basically allowing mining directors to essentially like target paint asteroids uh, for miners to strip for increased yield. So I think it'd be cool if they kind of target paint or an asteroid. This is going to be a good way for kind of guiding new bros to do certain things. And while they're mining it, they either just get flat increased yield or there could be a chance where they can actually extract some sort of a rare element or something rare from that um, asteroid. Of course, it'd be a very low chance but it's better than nothing, right? Um, I think you could also attach this if they do add something like one of those uh, boost or like bulwark modes, kind of adding that to it. So it's like, hey, if you use this mode, you can target paint. If you use the other mode, you can't, things like that. Um, just something to kind of uh, be kind of cool and a bit more interactive for the mining director. All right, and this next idea I had is definitely the most absurd one I thought of. Um, it could be completely and utterly broken. I have no idea. I'm gonna let you guys out in the comments kind of come up with it, uh, which is basically when I'm thinking of a roar call, um, I'm thinking of a giant industrial platform that is the epitome of industry and efficiency, and it just demands this presence that could be even system-wide. So in my mind, especially since Vertati talked about kind of filling new roles, things like that, I think if the roar call once a week, um, not per roar call, but just a system in general could actually benefit from a roar call dropping like this large industrial beacon, like in the middle of the system, um, that gives all kinds of bonuses. So bonuses to manufacturing, mining, uh, reprocessing gains could even increase the spawn rate of certain types of ores. You can kind of select what type of ore, things like that. And it lasts for the whole week. Um, I would imagine it would probably give diminishing returns based on day one during day seven. So let's say you install this beacon, but it can't be destroyed. So if, if there is a fleet kind of roaming through and they destroy that beacon, uh, you basically lost your bonuses for the week. So if you deploy it day one and it gets destroyed, uh, you can't plan another one for six days. So you really have to wait. And I think this is something that uh, a lot of alliances and especially corporations would defend very violently because those kind of bonuses to that many types of things when it comes to industry and manufacturing are very, very important. So for all of you guys that like to use those uh, null sec filaments, go on these fleet roams and you're trying to find some sort of action, I think if you come across one of these industrial beacons, kind of just chill in the middle of the system, a very easy way for you to find it, either destroy it in time or kind of shake the, shake the hornet's nest enough for ships to kind of come out and you guys can get a fight that way. I think that'd be kind of interesting. All right, and my second to last idea is actually to potentially have the Orca and the War Call kind of be like drone bunnies. I am fully expecting that they're going to get some pretty heavy hit and nerfs when it comes to mining drone yield, but they're still going to have some very minor bonuses. That's still going to be better than, let's say, having the Barges or the Exumers use their own personal mining drones. So I guess the only change in this mechanic would be that Orca and War Calls would be able to still use their mining drone bonuses with the drones that are kind of bunnied onto them. Uh, and I think this is really interesting because uh, it's only going to be as effective as how many other mining ships you're willing to risk out in the in the belt as well or out in the um, grid. So if you have 10 other barges out there on grid with the Orca, that Orca, and I think Drone Bunny can handle up to, to 50 drones at once, something along those lines. So if you want the Orca to obviously harvest more with mining drones, you're going you're gonna to have to risk more ships out in the belt with it. Same thing with the War Call. So I think this is going to be a really interesting mechanic. And obviously, if you have that many ships out there, uh, in a singular belt that's going to draw a lot of attention towards you and definitely um, encourage some ganks so i think this would be a definitely unique uh, play style and obviously just to help get more of those barges and exhumers out in the belt uh, get them more exposed because i think at the end of the day they do want more ships with lasers and not just huge ships with mining drones all day all right last but not least this is definitely a change that will affect the orca and the war call but it's not so much like an overhaul or a role change this is a change that I can personally see happening, um, not with this initial Orca or Roar Call like update, but definitely down the road if they want to make additional changes to mining. And that is just like flat mining nerfs to mining drones in general. So whether it's uh, ice mining cycle times or the mining drone yield nerf, so whether it's 10, 15, 20%, I have no idea. I'm just, uh, I'm just pulling numbers out of the sky, to be honest. But if that doesn't happen, I think at the very least, just because the Roar Call is the biggest perpetrator of this like insane amount of a uh, solo mining yield and not really requiring a fleet. I, I think at the very least, I could definitely see excavator drones getting a nerf, either to cycle time or yield, depending on if it's for uh, mining or ice. I, I could definitely see this happening just to kind of help rein in the war call and make it more of a fleet boosting platform. 
All right, and finally, now we can head over to some of the statistical changes I think CCP is going to make to the Orca and the Warcall, at least as it pertains to the traits here, like at face value. I think two things, CCP is definitely not going to touch two things on these ships, that's for sure. And I think a lot of people are freaking out that uh, CCP or these changes are going to be 110% uh, changing the Orca and the Warcall into these fleet boosting platforms, and that's all they can do. They can't use mining drones. That is definitely not going to happen. At least I don't see it happening because that's going to A, render mining drones uh, very weak. Two, it's going to render the mining drone rigs pretty much useless altogether, especially for anything larger than like medium. And it's also going to render excavator drones also equally as useless and completely fall off the market. And anyone and everyone that's ever made these things are going to lose a ton of isk and have a huge fallout. I don't think that's going to happen. The second thing I think CCP is not going to touch is the EHP of these ships at all whatsoever. So shield, armor, structure these ships are meant to be very large very imposing and very difficult to take down uh, the, the the changes that are going to happen with these ships is just going to encourage miners to bring smaller ships that are vulnerable to ganks and have them getting taken out so there will be some sort of risk element on the miners behalf all right now jumping jumping finally into the statistical changes i think the industrial command bonuses here they're not going to change i think they're going actually going to change this a little bit but not too much on both sides so i would actually like to see the or hold capacity of the orca go up and i think this accomplishes two things um two it's just going to encourage i think artificially a lot of mining fleets to, to stay out in the belt longer because some people might say hey we're just going to fill up the orca two or three times then we're going to call it a day who knows i'm not sure how everyone does their mining fleets but if they do increase this it will increase the mining or hold capacity from i think 200k at max level up to 225k which is a pretty significant increase i mean that's over 10 percent. so the longer the ships are in the belt the higher the likelihood they're going to get scouted and eventually get ganked, all that stuff. Uh, and not only that, I think because there's going to be so many changes down here below, I think giving the Orca something a little bit extra or something to kind of offset a lot of these nerfs that are likely going to happen uh, would be kind of nice. At least for the Mining Foreman and the Shield Command Burst, these knobs are obviously very, very sensitive because they are tied to like a per level skill with the Industrial Command and Capital. So I, I think these are just going to increase by 1% across the board. I think 2% might be a bit, big, bit of a jump because now that, that's a 10% jump increase. And if, of course, 10% doesn't sound like much, but not if you're applying it to uh, 5, 6, 10, 11, uh, 20 mining barges out in the belt with you, that, that exponentially increases uh, by a lot. So I think, I think across the board, these are all just going to increase by 1%. So that's going to go 4, that's going to go 2, 6, uh, 4. So all these are going to get a pretty big increase. And I definitely think the Orca should be 2% uh, better than the Orca like across the board. Uh, with everything because it just makes sense someone that's making that heavy an investment with the best industrial platform in the game they obviously they should get those bonuses this was kind of interesting uh the 10 percent drone bonus to like hit points damage and or yield i think ccp is they're gonna they're gonna leave this but i think down the road they will nerf uh or yield because if you look at the war call here there's nothing else because like at least the orca has like a roll bonus to, to or mining yield the the war call does it i think it's just getting strictly carried by the very high base mining yield of the excavator drone so i think that's going to get nerfed down the line and kind of rein in the war call um, i think that's what's going to happen for the orca i think they're going to leave this the same so i think they're, they're going to leave this the same on, on both sides but they're just going to i think down the road rein in the mining like the base yield of a lot of the mining drones uh 10 reduction in drone ice harvesting cycle time i think this is just going to get straight up removed uh on both of these i think again they want more mining lasers in the ice fields and less drones. Roll bonus down here. I mean, at this point, we're actually done with the war call. If they do introduce some sort of interesting mechanic or kind of a new module for either of these ships, they're going to add it down here in the roll bonus. Um, I think what they're going to do is kind of like reduce some of the industrial command skills like per level and really crank up some of the roll bonuses that these ships uh, can do. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I think that's what's likely going to happen. If they do add something weird, they'll probably add a new skill towards it because I think, if anything, CCP is trying to find ways to, to add more skills to the game, which does two things. It's going to let veterans actually give them a reason to start skilling towards something because I think that's one issue that some veterans have. They're like, I don't know what to skill right now. Um, and I think the second thing is it just kind of helps give the feeling that the game is evolving. There are There is new technology being invented by a lot of these empires and or some of these factions, and so that is kind of like an ever-evolving thing. Uh, the roll bonus for both the drone mi or mining yield as well as the drone uh, ice harvesting cycle time i think both of these are just going to get straight up removed from the orca again they if they want the role of the orca to be a fleet boosting platform they're going to get rid of the roles that aren't in line with that um they could actually add a roll bonus of like hey the the 
command burst bonuses are 2% stronger or something like that. Who knows? I mean, if they're going to add something like that, they'll add it down here. Um, so if they're actually removing two roll bonuses, I imagine they might add some other things alongside it. I, and I think they're going to keep everything else. The remote shield booster, all that stuff is great. Um, I think it would be kind of cool if they added something to increase the shield boosting, either like the rep cycle or the amount that is being healed. Um, something along those lines to kind of give, give it a chance for some of their uh, fleet members to be able to actually survive the gank. Who knows? But other than that, I think everything else is going to be um, untouched. I did actually have an idea of like they might increase like the, the fleet hanger size because I think this has a fleet hanger of 40,000. But if you increase that up to like 50,000, now that's kind of stepping on the toes of deep space transports. And now, you know, orcas are going to be kind of become the, the new safer version of the deep space transport. Who knows? But I think uh, in that sense, I think these, this is going to pretty much be it. So uh, other than that, I think the statistical changes are going to be with the ones, like I mentioned, remove a lot of the, the drone mining, uh, harvesting and, and mining yields, except for these ones down in the middle. And I think an additional way to rein these in are going to be able to nerf mining drones down the road. And that's pretty much it, guys. I would still love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the potential orc on roll call changes that CCP could make um, down the road, or even some just mining changes in general. Or if you guys want to piggyback off some of the ideas that I had earlier in the video, uh, don't forget to put your in-game name too down as well in the comments below if you guys want to enter in the giveaway as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to fly safe.